What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Katie and on today's video we're going to be doing my June 2023 budget. So let's go ahead and jump into the numbers. So starting here with our income, my husband does get paid bi-weekly. So we're expecting two paychecks for him and I'm budgeting $5,200 for each of those paychecks. And this is after taxes, after all of his um, benefits and like retirement savings come out. So in total, we're expecting $10,400 in our take-home pay for the month of June. First, we're going to go to savings and investing. That's what I always like to start with in the budget. So our first savings item that I have listed here is savings challenges, and I'm budgeting $1,150 for savings challenges. And this will hopefully be the last month that I am doing the 100 envelope challenge. So I'm hoping to finish that in June and have our emergency fund at $10,000 because I am using the 100 envelope challenge to fund my emergency fund. So I'm really excited to get that finished this month and have our emergency fund kind of finished. We're going to still be saving more money for that, but it's a good start. Um, $10,000 is more than we've ever had saved for an emergency. So I'm really happy that we will be finishing that up this month. We're also saving for a few other things with our savings challenges, but that's like the main thing that I'm excited about for June. Next is my retirement savings. So I'm setting aside $125 for retirement and we don't save for my husband because he um, already saves for retirement in his paycheck like before he gets the paycheck. So that all comes out before the paycheck hits our bank. So he does save for retirement. You just don't see that in our budget. So in total for savings and investing, we are sending $1,275 in June. Next, we have our debt payments. So we have four or no, five uh, student loans left. So we don't have any other debt right now besides student loans and our mortgage. So for student loans, we're not paying anything on four of them because the student loans are on a pause. And right now we're just trying to focus on this Fed loan two here because it's the smallest and we wanna get that knocked out as soon as we can. We're hoping to pay this one off this year, but I'm not sure if that will happen. That's the goal and we're working hard to get there, but we'll see how the rest of the year goes. So we are budgeting $1,250 for that Fed loan too. And that's the total amount that we are sending to debt because we don't have any other debts that we're paying on right now. Next, we'll go on to our bills and fixed expenses. So our first one here is our mortgage. It recently just went up because our taxes went up because our house value went up. So we're budgeting $2,349 for our mortgage for June. Our phone bill has also gone up now because my husband just got a new phone and we changed our plan and stuff. So we're budgeting $169 for June. It actually won't be this high every month. This is like a one-off thing and it should go down a little bit after June. So we'll see if that's actually the case, but that is what they told us. So 169 for June. For internet, we're budgeting $81. For trash, we're budgeting $50. Um, life insurance is one that we don't normally have on our budget. We do not pay life insurance every month. Well, we do pay every month. So we have life insurance through my husband's employer for him and then for the boys and for myself. So that all comes out of my husband's paycheck before he gets it. This is additional life insurance that we have for my husband only. And we only have to pay this twice a year and it's only $88 because we got it when he was like, I think 24 or something. So, um, you know, he was young and healthy, so we don't have to pay a lot of money for this. So $88 twice a year, that's all we pay. And then we have the additional from his employer. Next is streaming and we're budgeting $108 for that. That is um, a couple of different streaming services. I just lump them together and just call it streaming um, in a one line item. So in total for our bills and fixed expenses, we have $2,845 budgeted for those things. Next are our digital envelopes. So we are digital budgeters. I don't use cash for anything except for savings challenges, but I just like to call these envelopes because these are the like variable expenses that we have that we spend out of um, most months. And then whatever we don't spend in these, I just roll over into the next month. So for school, we're budgeting $1,000. So we are still building this fund up until July. So we have most of the money that we need for tuition. Um, this should actually, this month should give us all of the tuition that we need, but then we will also have to buy um, school supplies and curriculum and new uniforms. So um, in June and July, both we will be putting like over a thousand dollars or in June, it'll be a thousand in July. I'll probably put more than a thousand dollars into the school fund. And then after July, 
hopefully we can cut back a lot on this and um, put more money to debt. So that's my plan. Um, we just kind of have to get our 100 envelope challenge finished and we have to get the school stuff funded and then we can focus on debt a little bit more. So $1,000 going to school this month. Um, for food and household, we're doing 1,300. If you remember last month, I cut it down to 1,250. I'm going back to 1,300 now. I'm not going up to 1,350, which we've done. Um, most of the time we would do 1,350. Sometimes we would do 1,300. I'm just doing 1,300 this time because I felt like um, in May when we cut back, it was a little too tight, I, I felt. So um, we could probably keep doing it, but just to avoid some stress, I'm doing 1,300 for June. For eating out, we're doing 250. For car insurance and maintenance, we're doing 100. For car gas, we're only doing 225 for June because the boys are out of school and I won't have to be driving them as much to school and to like school activities that they do. So that should save us some money on gas. I'm hoping honestly that 225 will still be too much, but I just wanna you know, give us enough just to be safe and then if we have money left over, obviously it will just roll over into July. And then in July, I won't have to budget as much. So um, we'll see how that works out. For house bills, we're doing 400 this month, which is a little bit lower than I normally do, but I do have quite a bit rolling over from May. So we should be fine there. For my boys, I'm doing 325, which is pretty high, but um, I just paid for swimming lessons for Owen. And I'm also gonna be paying for swimming lessons for Liam soon. So, um, that's in addition to like the other activities that they're already doing that I have to pay for like Liam's ninja class and stuff. So this also gives me like some wiggle room in case I need to buy them clothes or something because I know that they are, um, they have been growing lately. So I might need to buy them some like summer clothes or some swimsuits or something. So hopefully this will give me a little bit of wiggle room to get everything that I need for them. Next is Mark spending. So he usually gets 200 and that's what we're doing this month. I'm doing 250 for myself and the only reason I'm getting more than him is just because I got less than him last month because I didn't have a need for the money but this month in June I do have a hair appointment and I'm doing like a bigger giveaway on my channel so um, I'm just giving myself 50 extra. I probably won't need that 50 extra because I have um, money rolling over from May as well but just to be safe I wanted to make sure I had all my bases covered so I'm doing 250 for myself. For holiday and gift, we're doing a 400, so this will cover part of Liam's birthday stuff and Father's Day stuff. So 400 for that, hopefully that will be enough for everything. Next is pets, so we have 300 for them. Luna does have a vet appointment in June, and then we'll have to make a vet appointment for Loki for July. So whatever we don't use, we'll just roll over for his vet appointment in July. For house things, I'm doing 100. For dues and subscriptions, I'm only doing 25. For family, this is like anything fun that we wanna to do together as a family, I'm doing 100. Taxes, I'm not budgeting anything, but if I get a YouTube paycheck, then I will put money into taxes. And then for miscellaneous, I'm just budgeting 55, which was just kind of what we had left over in the budget after I funded everything else. So going up to the top here, our budgeted income was $10,400 and our budgeted expenses were also $10,400. So we have a balance of zero, which means that we have assigned a job for every dollar that we plan to have coming in. So anything extra that we get, I would love to put towards debt. So that is my plan. If we get any extra income, like if I get a YouTube check or if Mark makes more than I think that he will, then that money will go to debt. But that is it for this video. I feel like we went pretty fast through this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.